In the first tutorial on speed, distance and time, you were shown the basic equation of speed which was v equals d over t, or distance travelled over time taken. The full equation is shown on the right, and there's actually no difference, it still means the same. The little triangle stands for delta, so when you read that, the full equation goes v equals delta d over delta t. The delta stands for change in, so speed is the change in distance over the change in time. We'll look at a problem to illustrate why we need that. Dave drives from home to town B and passes through town A. Town A is 200 kilometers from home and town B is 350 kilometers from home. Dave passes town A at 3 p.m. and arrives at town B at 5 p.m. Calculate Dave's average speed between those two towns. Now we know it's average speed, so again we look at our magic triangle and we know it's d divided by t. But this time we write delta d over delta t. Now to find delta d, or the change in distance, look for the final distance and the initial distance and subtract. So 350 take away 200. For the change in time, again look for the final time and take away the initial time. Do the maths, so that's 150 over 2, two is 75 and in this case kilometers per hour. In this example you've got a table of data, the distance from the start and the time from the start. The table shows the distance and time values for the movement of an object. Calculate the average speed of the object moving between C and H. Well, average speed, so again we know the equation is going to look like that. Change in distance, so look for the final distance and look for the initial distance. So it's going to be 50 take away 12. And then the change in time, we're going to take the 35 and subtract the 10. 38 divided by 25, which is 1.52 meters per second.